you, Adam Sandler. Oh, come on now. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, you come on. Hey, hey, weren't you singing his praises with the last film he did? Huh? Huh? You even made a music video out of it. <laughs> oh, that's right. Wait, what was his last film? Hotel Transylvania. But that was a good one. Wow. But, yeah, yeah, but that, that doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't count. On. It wasn't technically an Adam Sandler True, film. he's just in it. Bullshit. With, with, yes, with all, it with all was. His buddies. Get out of here that with that. That doesn't count. First of all, <laughs> that was a long time ago. No, it yeah, wasn't yeah, that yeah, long. Coast. Why you got to bring up old yeah, shit? Yeah, why you bringing up old, why you bringing up old shit, hey, man? It's not as old as the character no, he played, all right? No, it let, don't count. Let, let's talk about this new shit. Emphasis <laughs> on shit. Yeah, Adam Sandler, what have you done for me lately? This new polished turd he put out? Yeah. That don't make him a shitload of money <laughs> i cannot sit in the same theater with you anymore <laughs> starting to sound oh, like yeah. bill cosby over here he's like, i cannot i cannot sit in the theater no, wait. with you anymore let me, let me reiterate i <laughs> cannot sit in the same theater with you oh, anymore yeah? really I, i'm sitting three chairs down uh-huh. and i can just Feel your smile. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> Can God. you feel it irradiate from my face? Now, now, now <laughs> let, let, let me say something in the co-host's defense. <laughs> what? What can, as, you, as what can sat, you actually say? To as I this? sat right next to him, yes, he <laughs> laughed all through the movie. But I could tell it wasn't coming from his heart. <laughs> they were they were more like titters and chuckles as opposed to his usual. <laughs> no, that's not true because. When I try to, I try to ignore you, man. Uh-huh. I try my best to just not look at you. Good luck I, with that, by the way. I even, if you notice, I even leaned over and I put my hands up over my head just so I would not like blinders on a horse. So I wouldn't have to see your goofy ass in there. But no, no, no. That wasn't enough for you, was it? I, I always and, like it when I go out of my way to look over at Corey. That was a good one, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't good enough that I had to like blind myself. You had to hear that, that little old just snide ass chuckle of yours. <laughs> No, no, in his defense as well, you have to remember, he is clinically insane. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's on his paper and documentation and everything. He feeds off the misery of others. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> he's, I he's, feed me, Corey. He's feed me. <laughs> he's almost an evil spirit, but we're not going to go quite that far. Man, you... Yeah, he's, 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 he's something of an oni. But I, I like it. I like it, because yeah. you, you are at a dilemma at this point. You're yeah. at a crossroads right here, because on one hand, we got your hero, yeah. Adam Sandler here, That's but true. on the other... We got your arch nemesis, oh, Kevin James. Yes, oh, and goddamn. Yeah. Now, wow. Leon, can I do some? Can I do some Adam Sandler math for you? Oh, please! I, 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 I can't wait. Can I do some Adam Sandler co-host math for you? I, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Bring it Pre- Hallelujah, preacher, brother. Oh, oh okay. you're about to create the atom bomb. I think we can't be careful. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here it is. Adam Sandler plus film. Yeah. Equals. Amazing for co host Right, right. That it's a, it's a, it's a full price, if not a better than sex. That he did true. not like Little Nicky, to be fair. Oh, come on. That one. No, that, nobody that, that, liked Little Nicky. But hold Nikki. on, hold on, wait a minute. Kevin James uh-huh. plus film. Fuck that guy. Equal. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Equals, equals fuck that guy. He just yeah. put it out there for you. Yeah. Equals yeah. fuck that guy. So, but he, oh, you're right. But I'm a, but see, I'm but, not going to. But, but the co host doesn't give matinees, so where's this going to be? When these two forces coming together create like a giant hurricane or something like that? A singularity. Now, now. I'm going to go ahead and call you up to the chalkboard, and I'm going to ask you, <laughs> Adam Sandler plus Kevin James plus film equals, and we can, hey, I'll let you think about it. I'll let you think about it, because he don't, <laughs> he don't give no, he don't give no rentals. Is, is that smoke? What's going on? Wait, wait, I, I like, class still in session? Let, let, come on, let, Lunch let, bell ring yet? Let, let him do his gazentas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? Six, six gazenta, 12. <laughs> 12 <laughs> hold on, hold on. Before you do anything, let, let me wipe off the drool off my desk here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. What's going on? What's going but on? I'm going to let you think about it, but. Let me go ahead and tell you about the plot to grown up. <laughs> you said this so seriously, too. I was like, Jesus, you're getting into work mode. Man, wait, wait, this, this one actually has a plot? I, I, I think if you go to Wikipedia or IMDb, you're just going to see a guy shrugging his shoulders like, come on. don't No, no you're going to see know. a guy laughing at him <laughs> looking, looking for the plot. I, Cyrus, let me tell you something. You know, sometimes we joke around. We kinda, when we come out of a movie, we're saying, well, let me tell you what this plot is. Tee hee 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 hee. Oh, ain't no plot. But there might be just a little bit of a plot in there. There's no fucking story in this whatsoever. I waited. I, I sat there and I said, man, I'll be glad when this story kicks in. That was 45 minutes into the movie. Mm-hmm. It's a bunch of subplots that all come together for that lazy climax at the end where 
everybody's in the same place and they fight each other. Well, that yeah. sounds like a plot. Yeah. That ain't no way. When you say it like that, it sounds like hey, a plot. Hey, that's hey, a, the, that's the, an ending. <laughs> the, 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 the Warriors no, I, made I was it. There. I know. Hey. Hey. I understand the way you described it. Somebody could go like, well, that sounds like a plot. Yeah, the, no, the, it's not. You're right. The Warriors. That sounds like the Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> that, that movie, that's a great film. <laughs> this, 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 is, this is truly a movie without any sort of plan. Why do I feel like by not seeing this, I dodged a bullet like Neo? <laughs> well, fuck you. I wanted that bullet to find your ass. I, honestly, you Cyrus, like, uh, the magic bullet. Cyrus was, was in the other theater watching another film that there's another screening for next week. And all I could think is like, man, that motherfucker, how, how yeah, in the these... hell did he pull that card on Corey? And how did Corey not relish in the fact of telling him, no, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to suffer like the rest of us. Now get your ass. There's a seat here right Why here waiting for you. Why do I think he just you? doesn't pay attention sometimes? <laughs> it was either a choice between missing this or missing red too. There was no other choice, and I chose to miss this. I love I your I misery. Right I always think that Corey also loves your misery. So just having you there, like, about to blow your brains out would have been hilarious. More funny than the movie, actually. I'm a co-host, but then you couldn't have heard the movie because you just would have been sitting next to Cyrus, and all you would have heard was, <sighs> <sighs> oh, what, did I say? what did I say about him being an evil spirit who feeds on misery? <laughs> <laughs> Tweet. Yeah, but, and, and I didn't want you in there, for one. You know what, man, brother? I would never do that to you. I know you. I would not do that to you. I know. And second of all, I wouldn't have been able to hear anything. And that maybe maybe I should have had you there so I wouldn't have to hear any of this because the whole movie just would have been, he, You would have sounded like a goofy-ass Darth Vader. I don't know. That sounded like, like, a, like a bring in the noise, bring out the funk kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Darth, Darth, Darth retarded. Get some yeah. garbage can lids and start beating on them while yeah, y'all are doing that. Darth retarded. Yeah, it would have been Darth Vader. <laughs> it's like a clown in an iron lung. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. No, man. I, I, I'm really, I'm really pissed about this. So you, you saw Grown Ups One, right? I saw Grown Ups One, but Grown Ups One had a story. It did. What? Tell me what it was. It's, it was a bunch of childhood friends who decided to go on vacation at a house, and uh, well, I mean, look at a premise. <laughs> 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 He's on a roll there, though. <laughs> I'll give him that. <laughs> that is one thing that this movie doesn't even have a premise. It doesn't have doesn't even have a premise. <laughs> no. Yeah, checkmate, brother. You got me. <laughs> I mean, it is like you like. Uh, all right, well, that's what's happening with this guy. That's where his life is. That's where his life is. This going somewhere? Yeah. What, what a lot the of shit happening. <laughs> I, I'm I'm mad and I'm in admiration of of Adam Sandler. Don't you stop. Uh, no, I, I do. Don't you do that. I do. I do. Don't you do that. You, you love Perry. saying shit like, yeah. well, I buff my puff daddy. He's a good businessman. Yeah, but as an artist, he sucks. Can I tell you something, though? I, I do admire Adam Sandler because Adam Sandler has a gift. He's able to bring a bunch of people together, which – his Indiv friends. Which individually, they do have talent, and he can manage to suck all of that out of them. <laughs> he can spin poop into money. But you know something? I mean, I really do admire the guy, I, and I'm jealous of him. Because Adam Sandler doesn't even have to fucking try now, man. These are friends. It's, it's the same people you saw in Grown Ups 1. Listed right here. Adam Sandler, Kevin James, Chris Rock, David Spade, uh, who, Nick, uh, Steve Buscemi, Nick Swartzen. And the women in here are Selma Hayek, Maya Rudolph, and Maria Bello. They all come together. They they all they they childhood friends. They grew up. They have families now, and all. I mean, these are all his buddies. Yeah, I they're mean, just making a film. Yeah, and, and they don't even have to do a podcast or movie review <laughs> yeah, no, no, or <laughs> nothing like that nothing. to get noticed. <laughs> that, yeah, they, Leon, they, get, they get to suck on film. <laughs> tell them what you told me when we were walking out. Uh, I. When I told you "fuck you" for leaving out the middle of the movie, oh, not that part. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly thought you left for a second because I, I was about to look over to Leon. I'm like, oh, I, I, I guess this isn't considered work. <laughs> Man, I was like, this is the same guy who gave me shit for walking out of Identity Thief, where he just took off for 30 minutes in the movie and was like, oh, I, I went to get a pizza and I waited for it. And I was like, where'd you go get that pizza, Papa John's? No, <laughs> Papa, Papa John's was too close to the theater. <laughs> I San, went to An San Antonio. <laughs> yeah. I, I went to go get pickup. He <laughs> went to go make the shit. <laughs> Actually, I got picked up a frozen pizza, came home and cooked it. Yeah. I came back for the credits. No. I'm going to tell you the truth. I walked out to check a message real quick. And while I was out there, I was starving. I ordered the pizza. And I, I wasn't gone. I was at the top of the stairs. Mm -hmm. It was just too much trouble to bring all the food back and try to get through people to come back. All right. Ask okay. questions good, about good, that part. Good, quick, show of hands. Does anybody believe that? Mm -hmm. 
I, you I weren't even there. Funny thing is, I don't see anybody's hands. Yeah. I was, I was there. I saw everything. I saw everything. <laughs> you saw nothing. Yeah. 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 You saw the poster. Yeah. But man, these guys. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Tell what, what, I say? what you told me. You said when they get together now, it's almost like they've shot about four or five hours or six hours or nine hours of footage. Yeah, yeah. And it's just them ad libbing through the whole thing. Ad libbing be is being nice. It's just mm-hmm. them hanging out and they cut the best, what they consider the best clips together, and they cut it into a two-hour movie. Or hour, hour oh, and no, a half movie. Have, that's, that's the thing that kills me. It's like, you can see they, they don't come in with any kind of polished script. They might have something of an outline, and everybody's up, it's up to them to make up gags and just film them. They crack each other up, and then they edit together. Edit it poorly. It mm-hmm. barely caught like Like, this editor should be fired. They're like, yeah. you should not be working if you're doing work like this. And even with all that, it's still barely 90 minutes, and it's got filler in it. It's got, it's got setups... Like for a punchline, it'll be like the punchline, but then the place where you know they're supposed to finish that joke off, it just cuts to the next scene. And you're like, wow, dude, you really didn't have enough good material <laughs> to finish out that one thing? I mean, it seems like, like you already one. know the answer to that. I mean, because you're right. I mean, it is all filler. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This is this is terrible. Uh, just, I mean, and even Kevin James, I'm like, wow, you know, there's the re- I'm wondering, I'm, I was wondering why I'm not getting fear in, like infuriated just looking at Kevin James on the screen. And then I realized that, wow, they gave that guy nothing to do. Now, I don't know if I should applaud them for that or, or what, but, I mean, he's barely I, I even the, in the I movie. I thought the same thing. It's like, wow, they, only, they really only did one, maybe two fat jokes with him, mm-hmm. which normally when they put him in a movie, that's all it's about. Oh, yeah. It's like, look how fat this guy is. The, you know what it is, Coase, is that they got, what, about – 27 characters in this movie yeah. so yeah, nobody do. gets a lot of screen time Mm-mm. no not at all because this time it's about the kids too and their subplots some of them don't even finish it there's a subplot in here where it seems like it's uh it's going to be a huge thing the, the uh, uh uh what's his name adam sandler's kid in the movie which one <laughs> okay yeah he's got three he's got three i don't know the, the kid with the football the yeah, the kid, kid with the football, yeah. the middle kid. I don't even know the kid's name. Whatever. You oh, look, yeah, look yeah. it up if yeah, you want to Yeah, he's the wimpy kid getting bullied, but he can he can kick a football through a goal like yeah. you've never seen. Yeah, he's like but Clark Kent on the field. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's like a tiny kid, so all the whole football team is like, Oh, well, what's this? So he's like what's Happy Gilmore, but with a football. Yeah, but then Adam Sandler dives on him and breaks his leg, and that's over. And that's it. And that's, <laughs> and that's, and that's like and, this. End like, of the skit. They could have cut you know, and the reason why they left that in the movie. I was. I thought that this sucked. That the reason why I left it in the movie is so that you could see the fat girl of one of the families cheering him on, just so they can make a fat cheerleader joke. That's why they left that Sounds in. Like the only reason they left it in is because the movie literally did not have an editor. Oh, well, <laughs> I, but I don't know. You know, the thing is, is that the movie is supposed to be about family. So I'm like, well, maybe this is one of the more important subplots because they were building it up so much as far as like this kid. You know, he was he was afraid of, of getting picked on all the time at school. And, you know, and, and so his dad was like, man, I got to I got to do something about this kid. I got to teach him like to stand up for himself. But just, you know, while they're hanging out playing football, Adam Sandler realizes, oh, my God, my kid has like this incredible talent to kick a football you know across the football field like like he's playing in college football and you think wow okay this is this is kind of the cool thing i like about some of these adam sandler films where he does actually try to incorporate some kind of relationship with these kids that he has and i'm like you know this could actually lead to something funnier down the road and when they just scrap it i'm like oh because the movie has seeds of that throughout the whole with, with each well, they do each that, of the with, fathers and their kids they do that with all the kids where it goes like oh this kid has this hidden talent i didn't know about Kevin James has a son who um, makes Ralph Wiggum look like a member of Mensa. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. And yet somehow, film's almost done, and he, he walks over to a piano and just starts playing green sleeves out of nowhere. So, because so, he had a dream about yeah, it. Yeah, when did you learn to do that? I don't know. I had a dream about it. Oh, so he's an idiot savant, basically. Yeah. It's <laughs> and and, and, that, and that, that, that comes and goes nowhere mm-hmm. it's yeah. like it's not that it's not a funny gag especially by that point no it's just like i don't even know why y'all include this that sounds more like a tyler perry film than it does an adam sandler no, film. Tyler, no a tyler perry film <laughs> will make you laugh at times uh, yeah i mean a tyler, a tyler perry film has a plot you might not like it but yeah, it has a yeah, plot it does it and does. they will end up in church you know yeah, what exactly. you know what as much as i hate those scenes in church I'd take it over this <laughs> yeah uh, well, yeah well, you know one of the crazy subplots they got going is uh all the old guys want to go back to their old swimming hole because there's this 35 foot drop that Kevin James never did. And they're like, we're going to take you out there. We, you're going to do it this time. Well, they get there, it's a bunch of frat boys led by Taylor Lautner 
and um, Milo Ventimiglia. Uh, the heroes dude. Yeah. yeah. I was about to P- say, Peter how the hell you know that guy? <laughs> He's from Heroes. Oh, he's from Heroes, yeah. Yeah, and he was, he was in that last Adam Sandler movie, uh, That's My Boy. Oh, okay. Um, but, but they're the frat boy like, yo, this is ours now. Yeah. Get out of here, old men. This is Kappa Eta Sigma property. Who? <laughs> You might want to quit perving on our ladies and get back to your trailer homes. <laughs> okay, easy there, Abercrombie. Haven't been around this many arrogant white college kids since Eminem played Duke. At least we got into college, skinny Danny Glover. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What, what, what? what? I don't know. A little extra right there. Uh, hey, fellas, that was a good handshake. We got a good one, too. It goes like this. Okay, here we go. Oh, how nice you doing, sir? Very good, sir. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and this is big, and they're like... I, all right, guys, don't don't be dicks about it, or we come over there and kick your ass. Well, they get the whole frat squad over there, who make them strip their clothes off and jump in the water, and they make it like it's a big deal. But then it goes away for so long, just for them to bring it back. Are you like, talking about you forget the frat boys? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You completely forget that they were in that movie, yeah. but they bring them back in the end for a big, I don't know, Braveheart fight. Yeah. <laughs> effectively, what's happening here, or not effectively, I should say, <laughs> is that. Whatever pretensions Adam Sandler and his gang had about these movies having some sort of thread or plot in it, it's slowly been edged out by the worst parts of every Adam Sandler movie that we see. The bathroom humor, we know that's going to be there. But then we get increased cameos by Saturday Night Live alumni. Like, oh, yeah. Lovitz is here. You also have the sports people that he hangs out with. Like, Shaquille O'Neal is in here. And Steve Austin, the wrestler, is in here. And just cameos by other people that you see around. Uh, in it's sad, man, because you see these people that you've grown to like. Steve Buscemi is amazing yep. on Boardwalk Empire. To see him come <laughs> yeah. in and just... Man, you sure you had that part on Boardwalk on, Empire. On Boardwalk yeah. Empire. To see, him, to see him have to come in and kiss that Adam Sandler ring and be uh, in this movie. You almost think it's kind of funny that nobody's threatened his job at Boardwalk Empire. It's like, dude, look, we love you. We know you've been in this business for a long time, but you're not helping us out here when you show up dr- dressed up as Flavor Flav in, in an Adam Sandler movie. You're just he not did helping do that too, character. by the way. Yeah, he dressed up as Flavor Flav. Yeah. yeah. After, it's just like, wow, dude. After all those things they go through, uh, every part with Nick Swartzen is just painful. Mm. Uh, Does oh, anybody yeah. like Nick Swartzen? No. Oh, wow. And, you know, I, I haven't seen any of his movies. Uh, but still, when I do see him, it's in snippets like like this where I'm like, oh, God, if I've seen enough of his movies, it'd probably be like the Kevin James syndrome all over again. It would. Uh, and and they, they drag Tim Meadows into this. With, with some prosthetics, with a, with a joke, they just they run into the well, ground. Tim Meadows oh. wasn't doing anything anyway. Yeah, he, he, no, nobody's calling him. Yeah. 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 But the thing is, is that it, this it this did feel like a bunch of deleted cutscenes from other Adam Sandler yeah. movies. It really did. They That's just said, they "Hey, were. man, we got a whole movie right here. Let's just call this shit Grown Ups too. Why not? You know, cha ching." You know? <laughs> it really does because I can't even. I, it, it's so incoherent. I mean, even going on about this for another 10 minutes, I'm like, I don't know what else to say well, about this. It cracked me up that, like, this all leads to them having a big 80s theme party. And I was like, of course, well, yeah, Adam I mean, Sandler crowbars the 80s into every exactly, movie he makes. Yeah, right. And to the point in this movie where he just made a yeah. big party out of it. Yeah. And, and, that, and that takes the place of the vacation. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. in every movie, they go off somewhere and have a big vacation. They hear this, this whole movie's a fucking yeah. vacation for them. It, it, you know, it, makes, it really does make me angry to see these guys get together, just crap out some bullshit and mm-hmm. then put it out there as a movie yeah. and everybody just goes to see it just yeah. because Adam Sandler's a brand. I right. mean, I'm, I'm jealous of the man because the guy is obviously smart. Mm-hmm. Adam, Sman- Adam Sandler's smart. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to sit up and say he's dumb. You know, he's just, the smartest man alive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's one thing he didn't do. He didn't do the voice like no, 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 no. I'm looking no, 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 at this one. Point he was yeah. on the bus and he did the wiggle in the fingers and went the whole. The <laughs> oh, did, yeah, 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 yeah. It was one scene where he did it. Well, I, just I, cause I looked I, at co-host at that scene like Corey. If you were in the theater, it, maybe you would have seen that. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know what? I would have seen that, but I was holding pizza. Oh, oh, <laughs> the funny thing is, he did it at a time where. It was such a non sequitur for him to do that. <laughs> yeah. He ran out of shit to do shit. Yeah. He's like, oh, I forgot to write the rest of the script. Yeah. <laughs> How does he attract so much talent around him? It makes you wonder. He's got to have something on all these people. Well, you know, no, look, it's, look, I think it's I more mean, like. It's, it's all his. Most of them is guys he worked with from Saturday Night Live. Matter of yeah. fact, there's one gratuitous gag where he pulls in like all the new male. Like every new male cast member is in this one scene. Right. And, you know, he was. All that time, he was a guy who was funny. He played pranks. But he's the guy who made it the biggest. And they're so happy that he's willing to help out his friends and give them something to do. I always think of him as like kind of a dorkier George Clooney. You know, yeah. he just Yo, has this group of guys that they just go hang out and they're like, 
Hey guys, want to make some money this week? Yeah. Sure. All right, let's go do a fucking yeah. movie. Hey, well, with that. the exception being, if you do it with George Clooney, you're going to get accolades, and the critics will be like, "Wow, it was a great movie." Yeah. Well, you do it Adam Sandler, <laughs> you I, get millions of dollars. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You make true. money. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You make a little more. Yeah, yeah, little yeah, more. Is hey, it possible? Hey, hang out with Clooney and be cool. I mean, there's someone right with me. There's someone. <laughs> no, 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 Adam. I'll, I'll, I'll take those million dollars. Plus, <laughs> he buys everybody a, a, a fancy sports car. There's so many people in this movie. How did? Is anyone going to get paid? Right. Well, because. Because the movies probably make money. There's a, look, there's a reason why people are saying, oh, I think Grown Ups 2 is going to beat Pacific Rim. <laughs> yeah. And, I, yeah, that's, that, that is something Oh, no. It, I it's know, a it big is. news story right now. Yeah, I know. I saw yeah, it. Pacific Rim is tracking horribly compared to Grown Ups 2. And I yeah, tell I'm, you I'm what, telling you, man. It, it could easily happen. I, if it happens, I won't be the least bit shocked. I'm not no. going to be shocked, but I'm going to tell you right now, I hope Adam Sandler gets a big robot foot up his ass. This weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I, the headline well, in and, every paper in the country, yeah. America Stupid yeah. reports <laughs> fine. Well, it really Final the, proof. It's, it's yeah. going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be Adam Sandler buys a giant robot. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's going to be Adam Sandler in that fucking robot going, oh, did you put the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stop looking at me, Swan. Him and Kevin James are going to be walking down the streets in Manhattan both wearing yeah. those giant robots. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? That giant robot's going to be in Grown Ups 3. He's <laughs> <laughs> my buddy now. Oh, yeah. Man, I, what can I tell you? This, I, I, I can't fault the guy. People are dumb enough to go see these movies and give them their money. Why shouldn't he mm-hmm. come out here and not make a little bit of coin getting together with his friends? Mm-hmm. It's supply and demand. I get it. It's a formula that works. I, I don't get it. remember you making this argument about the disaster movie guys. Yeah. And all Corey. those movies come home and make money. It's <laughs> yeah, just them with Corey. all their friends. What yeah, about Corey. That? What about that? <laughs> Why are y'all jumping on me? Because <laughs> uh, I refuse this, to accept this, your this, argument. Can we not acceptable. forget who the real enemy here is over here? Hold on, hold this on. One thing. Let me take oh, a this puff. This robot over here? Let me take a puff of my cigar. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> <laughs> I, all I'm saying is maybe I just gave up now. There's nothing I can do. I think we've had very firm confirmation that there's just a lot of dumb people going to see a lot of dumb movies. And what can I do? It's yeah. all Stupid ass supply and demand. I don't know what to say anymore. Like I said, I think the guy, he knows what he's doing. In fact, I, I think he's got balls. He's just saying fucking artistic integrity and whatever mm-hmm. has, anybody has to say about me. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting up on my mansion wiping my ass with $100 bills. So mm-hmm. fuck you and, and, and whatever you got to say about my movies. Yeah, that means you too, Corey Coleman. <laughs> so, so you know what? I'm going to say fuck you to this movie, though. Mm-hmm. There's a big fuck you. This is one of those movies that I, I hate this kind of thing. I tell you, this is, what, this is the worst kind of filmmaking I hate, when nobody gives a fuck but to get together and make money. This is no benefit to anybody but these assholes in this fucking film. Fuck this movie, man. Are you laughing? But I mean this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you want to. We're all complacent in this shit. <laughs> well, man, I'm... I'm <laughs> <laughs> When he starts going, he starts us all going, God damn it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold I'm trying, on. man, stop laughing. I'm trying to be mad. Okay. <laughs> Don't take this away from me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Be professional. He's laughing at your emotions, Clear the Corey. Yeah. Clear the mechanism. I thought you were a friend, man. Uh, I need your support right now. I'm, 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 I'm pretty much right there with you on everything you're saying. <laughs> It is. It is. I hate seeing. Well, you know what? What what would have made me mad in this movie if I had come out and heard one person say, "I," you know, they just looked like they had so much fun making it. I'm like, "Fuck you!" I don't give a shit if a bunch of millionaires are having fun at my expense. Yeah. Kiss my ass. Uh, I like how quickly you turned into me. Well, yeah, you laughed at me a few minutes ago. But I managed to not have anybody say that. Let, let me say this. This is the only thing that's keeping me from being as mad as you are. Uh, I saw Grown Ups 1, which I thought was a colossal piece of shit. So I didn't come into this with any expectations of, of something better at all. Yeah, you act like I did. I, I expected yeah. it to be worse. No, 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 no. I, I, I didn't. I think there no, was, did. I think there was one place where I had something that was somewhere between a chuckle and a laugh. It was like, all right, that joke caught me. Leanne, I heard you laughing because all that shit you were laughing at, I was laughing at too. Come on, <laughs> I, know, I, no. some, I, I ain't gonna lie. No, I heard some chuckles too. No, no, I got, some, I got some chuckles. I was mad as hell when I heard that. <laughs> you, I, okay, no, that no, you. Hey, are, I'm minding my own business. Yeah. You no. should know better. No, 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 no. Now, now something catch you off guard. That's what comedy is supposed to do. Which so most much, much of it was like it opens. I'm sorry, sorry, you didn't see this, but it opens with some CG deer in his house just tearing shit up, running around. 
pissing on everybody, and then it runs away. And you're sitting there like, well, none of that was funny, so I don't understand what this means or how it plays. Is this going to be a Christmas movie or something? It's all set up for just maybe the lamest gag you ever saw at the, at the very at end. At the end of the at movie. At the end of the movie, when you're not thinking about that deer at all. It's just like, <laughs> you're like, okay, motherfucker, I guess. <laughs> it comes at you like this movie comes at you. Oh, uh, wow. It's circular, like Chinatown or some shit. I feel like the longer I talk, the more my rating's going down. <laughs> uh, you know what? I, you know, w- one redeeming thing to this movie, and it's going to sound like a backhanded compliment. It mostly is, but isn't. It ended? It's short. <laughs> okay, there you like, like, go. Unlike a lot of m- movies I've seen lately that I haven't liked, it's fucking short. It's they like it hits ninety minutes. Like just when you go like, all right, how much longer we got? It's like, oh shit's over. The end of the movie for they, you. They just did not have enough to they barely had enough to make it a feature film. Uh for that reason, I'm gonna give it a low some old bullshit. Oh. Mm, boy, I was mm. to <laughs> you know, say low rental. <laughs> I did. I really did. I no, really no, did. it's it's some old bullshit. I, I almost went fuck you. I'm like, man, it's right there, but I'm just not mad leaving. I'm like, mm. yeah. I knew it was going to be like this. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's funny that you guys mentioned Little Nicky. And, you know, last week when we were talking about that movie, and it, this was no Little Nicky. But then again, it was it was, no, it was nothing that I don't think anybody should really go out of their way to see ever, honestly. If it's on cable, and if you like the first one, maybe you stumble upon it. Maybe you'll find something in there that was that's, you know... Take your fun, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> something that, you know, you might like. I mean, there, were, there was a guy who came out and... Uh, it just started telling, asking me like, "All right, how much did I like it?" And I was like, eh, "I didn't, I didn't really give a shit about it." And this guy surprisingly was like, "Man, there was a lot I liked about it." And he started naming off all these things. A couple of them, I was like, "All right, you punch him in the <laughs> face." Yeah, no, because <laughs> plenty of people were walking out there. I was like, "Wow, this movie's gonna make a lot of money." I just, I, you know, you, you could smell it in the air. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, there's nothing going on. There's no kind of coherent sequence to this film whatsoever. Like I said before, it just seems like a bunch of cut scenes. Um, the fact that Kevin James couldn't find shit to do in this movie, I'm like, wow. But, but hey, I applaud Adam Sandler for that. Uh, but other than that, man. Oh my it, God, would you stop giving him credit? For this? Yeah, I know. <laughs> the only time you'll hear it. The only time. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, it just, it just kind of came and went. And like you said, it's so short. I, I didn't really care. So yeah, I'm giving it a, uh, some old bullshit. It, what? What? Really, I know. Did you? What? I know. I'm really shocked I know. by that. This Come on, a, man. What? A date to, to be marked in history. Oh my God, remember people. <laughs> remember this day in history <laughs> july 10th this day july 10th never forget 2013 Two, ten, at exactly 10 <laughs> 30 p.m the co-host bullshit for an adam sandler movie was born yes da, 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 da. Make sure i you, never thought i'd see this day make sure you got that date right because you're always fucking up dates all the time <laughs> oh i remember this day july 10th night i'm sorry 1982 2013 10 30 p.m <laughs>